Now he had, in his own words, he felt that like the first album was rushed. You know the um, yeah. the debut album. Mm -hmm. During that time, how much pressure was he really under to like deliver the project in a timely fashion? And were you around at that time? And yeah. did you notice that his he was actually reacting to the stress mm -hmm. of that? It, I, till this day, I still you know I still tip my hat off to him because it was it was such a hard process because here you are and you know you just made an amazing project and, and so far gone and then to now you know you're, you you took a mixtape and got a Grammy nomination you went number one with two different songs and to live up to that pressure that was one thing you know and then another thing is is not only did you have to live up to that pressure but you now became a superstar overnight you got to deal with life you still got to live and try to you know do that and then on top of that you're touring and, and then you know along with the pressure of, of being on tour you know following up so far gone being in the situation that he was in being a star pretty much you know over a few over one a year essentially he had to deal with the fact that he was on a label called Young Money and the guy that carries the label is in jail. I think that was the biggest thing. Like it's just like Little Wayne was in jail, you know, and the entire the entire label was on his shoulders because he was the next one out, you know. And he had to. Not only did he have to carry the torch and, and hold it down while Little Wayne was away in jail, but he also had to set up and do well for the label so that Nicki could come out because she could come out after him. So it's just like to have all of those things on your shoulders and, and to, to make it all come together and, and put out what he put out, I was too mad off.